Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Mysteries from Beyond the Other Dominion. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule. And now, the straw and the potato experiment. I claim I can drive this lovely, lurid straw right through the straw card potato by catching the straw and saying the magic card Hey, Do you see that? Let's try that one more time. Gai. Let's say it one more time. Gai. Now, the principal work here is as follows. We're all surrounded by air which acts downwards with a pressure of 14.7 pounds per square inch. When I pinch the straw, I'm trapping air in it, converting it to something akin to a nail. Gai! Now, if I had to do this on the surface of Mars, but the atmosphere is only one one hundredth that of Earth, not work quite as well. Gai! Contrary-wise, if I were to do it on the surface of Mars, of Venus, the atmosphere is 90 times that on Earth, we would work better. Gai! Just one more. Gai! And one more. Yeah, yee, how about that now? For the legend of Pecos Bill. Pecos Bill, Pecos Bill, what a man. Came out west with 17 siblings, fell into the Pecos River, and was rescued by a family of coyotes. Ooh. Pecos Bill, Pecos Bill, what a man. When he was 18, a cowpoke told him he was a man and not a coyote. Gai. How about that? Pecos Bill, Pecos Bill. What a man. At 18, he was told that he was a man, and then he began fighting. He fought a two-headed dinosaur, beat it to death. How about that? Pecos Bill, Pecos Bill. What a man. Once attacked by a giant rattler, squeezed it down to the size of a rope and used that rope to lasso a charging bull, thereby creating cattle roping. Pecos Bill, Pecos Bill. What a man. Once created perpetual motion mountain with winter, fall, spring, and summer, so cattle would no longer have to be herded. How about that? Pecos Bill, Pecos Bill. What a man. Once dug a humongous trench in Texas, filled it with water, creating thereby the Rio Grande. Pecos Bill, Pecos Bill. What a man. Now, it's my contention that the universe is literally teeming with life, that life is a common denominator of the cosmic backdrop. Two pieces of evidence. First, the universe is 13.8 billion years old, Earth only 4.5 billion years old. In other words, about two-thirds of all existing planets should be older, older, yes, older than we are. And we have a hundred billion galaxies, each with perhaps a hundred billion or more stars. Gai! That's why I say the universe is teeming with life, that we are not alone. Now until next time, May the power of the cosmos and of the straws be with you. Yes, yes, yes.